Her younger sister, Jean He, has to take care of her sick sister. When she came home from work late that night, she noticed something was wrong with her dog. Jean He went to calm her down. She saw her sister and a stranger walking out. Another person blocked her way. The dog was growling even more. Suddenly, her sister into a monster right in front of her. And he let go of the dog and let her escape. Then she rushed out of the house. In the sewer, there was an iron fence in front of him. There was no way out in desperation. She sent a last text message to her brother. Looking at the unsent warning, Kung realized that he should continue to help Hidito. Inside the cafe, Zhang Hyun had arrived at the address. But Suin wasn't there. After getting the answer she wanted, Zhang Hyun went up to the roof. She finally saw Suin. She said they found a nest of parasites. An uncle and Wong. They're the ones who agreed to start the sweep. If they were parasites, how could they kill their own kind? Suddenly, three special forces officers rushed in. So Young Hyun wanted to catch Su In. That's why she asked him to meet her. But Zhang Hyun underestimated him. He jumped right off the roof. Heidi woke up. Zhang Hyun shot him. But it didn't hurt him at all. Kung Wu suddenly appeared. He took Su Jin away from here. They couldn't understand. Why did Uncle and Wong, who had become monsters, they want to advocate for the elimination? At that moment, Kung received a call from his best friend. He learned that his sister had gone to his friend's house. And John panicked and warned his best friend to find a reason to leave. It wasn't his sister. As his friend was in a state of confusion, his sister turned into a monster. Because Hai not save his friend, they had to go home. But the monster voice, Kung Wu had no choice but to rush in with a fire extinguisher. He threw the fire extinguisher out and was going to cover his friend's escape. But before he could reach the door, he was dragged back by the monster. Realizing he couldn't escape, his best friend decided to jump towards the monster. Kung was frozen in place by this scene. Luckily, Hidito dragged him out of the door in time. Seeing his friend's tragic death, there was no time to grieve. They had no choice but to drive away from the scene. By the time the monster came out, they were already far away. At this time, the police station is planning a sweep. Zhang Hyun realized that Uncle and Wang were very active. He thought about what he said to Su In. Is Wang really a monster in human skin? So Zhang Hyun took advantage of him. She secretly cut off some of his hair. After everyone got out of the elevator, Zhang Hyun knelt down and picked up the broken hair on the floor. But the strange thing is, Old Wang was not the monster that Xiao said he was. After putting aside her doubts, Zhang Hyun was ready to take the two of them on a raid. At that moment, his cell phone suddenly rang. The caller. It was Su In and Zhang Wu who just escaped. They said that the sweep plan was a trap. Uncle and Wang are parasites. To their surprise, Uncle really didn't lie. Not only was the harbor full of parasites, and he even killed his own kind with his own hands. This scene was clearly seen by his men when they returned. Now only he and Hidito are left. Along with his three survivors, now we just need to get rid of the men. Then no one will know he's a successor. Wang suddenly stopped him. Because there are police everywhere. After Kung Wu hung up the phone Hidito could not understand why would he betray his own kind? Then he realized what he was planning. A music festival will be held tomorrow. The mayor will be there in person. Kung Wu thought Uncle wants to transfer the parasite in his body to him. That way, the parasite will have a chance to become a bigger leader. Everything was just as Kung Wu expected. It turns out that on the day of the parasite's arrival, the priest said he was not willing to take over just one body. He wanted to be the ruler of the whole earth. But he needed a helper. That's why he's not a monster. At that moment, the uncle asked Lao Wang what he was laughing at. He said if their plan succeeded, he could become a congressman. The two of them walked into the meeting room preparing for a special press conference on parasitic organisms. A special press conference on parasitic organisms. Uncle wrote 50,000 words he said that the sweeping operation was very successful. We've basically cleared out the parasites. But there are still a few left. He then released a picture of Hidito and Kong. He revealed their identity as parasites. If anyone finds them, they must be reported to the police. Kung Wu was furious when he saw the news. Because he knew what this monster was up to. He reminded Hidito be safe now he's on the nation's most wanted list. While the two were discussing their countermeasures his sister, who had become a monster, called. Listening to John's unkind words. He asked to speak to Hidehito. She said, if you watch the news, I'm in the same situation as you. Let's meet at the botanical garden Suin decided to meet him at least for now. They're on the same side. He asked him a question. He was trying to protect Hidito. But why did he seem like a different person now? He pretended to be a hypocrite. It's more important to prioritize the safety of the citizens. 
But Zhang Hyun didn't believe him. She's starting to have doubts about him. He realized that Zhang Hyun was suspicious of him. So he asked Wang to find a way to get rid of him. Make it look natural. On the other hand, Suin, who was transformed into Heidi. She met her tough sister at the botanical garden. Don't you be patient. I'm just trying to help you before Heidi could answer. Zhang Wu rushed out. He was ready to avenge his sister's death. But he was easily attacked by the monster. After letting go of Kong, sister said that now uncle is going to kill them both. If they don't fight back, they won't have a chance. He decided to help Su In and the others to kill him. In the evening, the music festival was held as scheduled. The mayor himself attended the event. After taking care of the two bodyguards with ease, he was ready to kill the mayor. But due to the chaos, he didn't have a chance to get close. And Zhang Hyun is coming with his troops. She had to clear out the mayor's bodyguards one by one. At the critical moment, he didn't expect Wang to turn against him. He shot him dead. Then he quickly fled with the mayor when the people surrounded. They found that the head of the uncle was gone. Unbeknownst to them, uncle's head was hiding in Wang's arms. After taking out the bodyguards, the parasitic creature pounced on the mayor. Luckily, Heidi arrived in time. She saved the mayor's life. Wang was about to shoot at the wall and then appeared to stop him, seeing that his plan failed. The monster went into hiding sister was about to leave with the mayor. She was shot by Wong. Kung looked at his sister with worry. He seemed to have a different feeling in his heart. Then he sent the two out. Then smoked down the shelves around. You put him at ease. As soon as the words left his mouth, sister was stabbed by the monster. He fought with the gas with the last of his strength. He bought time for the two of them to escape. But the monster couldn't stay away from his body for too long. Seeing no body around, he sent Wong away. Poor Wang was not yet a member. She became the monster's abandoned wife. At that moment, John Yao was hiding in a corner with the mayor. Unexpectedly, the parasitized king used his ultimate move. He transformed into a pair of exploring eyes. Easily found. Their position. He headed towards them. The wall ignited again the fireworks stopped the king's progress. Then he told the mayor to run away. But he underestimated the monster's determination to parasitize the mayor. Soon the mayor was recaptured. He was about to be parasitized again. Hidito, who had transformed into Heidi, finally arrived. Hearing this, John picked up the mayor and fled. Heidi had a final confrontation with the Mr. Wong. Seeing that he was no match for Hidito, Wong chose to hide. He used words to attract Heidi's attention and the parasite in his brain went around to the back. While Heidi was attacking, the parasite launched a sneak attack, but the plan didn't work Wong had to hide again. At that moment, Young Hyun suddenly came in front of Heidi. King was furious. Quickly shoot. I believe you progeneral left thief oh just in the nick of time. Young Hyun saw the reflection of the glass. After Heidi took care of the parasites, he immediately turned his gun around and fired. After several shots in a row, Lao Wang finally lost his life unwillingly. National team knowing that the parasitic organisms that parasitize the body of Heidi Hito doesn't have a problem with humans. So Zhang Hyun chose to spare both Su In and Kang Wu. Six months later, Su In went back to work at the supermarket. Zhang Wu was invited by Zhang Hyun to join the Grey Force to eliminate the parasitic organisms. Before he left, he told Su In that Zhang Hyun had reserved a place for him in the unit. If you want to join, you're always welcome. The whole new frontier is dedicated to listening. The bride price is standard when it comes to rice. We bought together they want three together lucky inside the lucky headquarters. Young Hyun received a report from his men. A man who claims to be a leading expert in the field of parasitic organisms. In the field of parasitic organisms, he wants to report something important to him. Otherwise, it'll be a full year for Mitchum. Let's wait for a break. This is the end of season one.